Bo is a pretty capable robot. Bo has four motors, so it can move around and it has a head that can move independent of the body. Bo can move pretty fast and Bo can move pretty smoothly. It has an eye ring and using eyes and, mo and the head motion and sound, it can be very expressive in expressing emotions. Everything on Bo is fully programmable. It can start pretty simple, which is just using a remote control to move Bo around. And then it graduates from using creating sequence of commands. So for example, I can say, hey, Bo went somewhere. Then it heard a loud sound and it got scared and it turned right and came right back. And then it, I petted it, which then I pressed a button and then it was all okay. And then it turned right and then, and so on. And then you can use those to create you know, subroutines, which you save in a, as, as a things that you can call later. So you have a fairly large path of programming which teaches you different aspects of programming in many different ways. Bo can move its head in front of the body. That one of the things that we use that to do, that Bo can play a xylophone. We can use music as a way to program the robot. And that's been an interesting way for us to help kids into the world of programming with languages they already know. Yana is the smaller robot. We can also call it a companion robot to Bo. Uh, Bo can detect Yana. And similarly, Yana can express characters through sound, lights, and eyes. The reason Yana was created was to give children a very simple way to express characters and stories using simple gestures. So for example, I can say on page one, when I drop you, I want you to be a lion, and then when I throw you, I want you to be a pig, and then on page three, I, when I move you, I want you to be a train, and then when I shake you, I want you to be a helicopter, and suddenly now you put a story together, but it's also a program, and children don't really realize they're programming. Uh, the inspiration was starting with our kids, we, all of us are parents, and then along with that data which showed that young kids, as young as five-year-old, can grasp programming concepts, but there are no existing tools that makes it possible for them to learn uh, these concepts. What evidence do you have, concrete evidence, that teaching kids just a few basic sequences on an iPad and controlling a robot will actually teach them the fundamentals of programming or, or really whet their appetite for programming? The evidence we have starts with some of the uh, research that was done at places like MIT and Tufts which showed that uh, the kids, first of all, at that young age can grasp fairly wide sort of programming concepts. $150 for the big one and that's just really the Kickstarter price and it goes up and then you've got accessories. You can buy a tablet for that these days and there are also free coding programs and sites online where kids can learn how to code. So how are you going to convince parents to fork out that kind of money? So. Um, True that there are existing free tools that you can learn programming with. We found that uh, for young kids, uh, tangible products like robots make it far more accessible and playful for kids to engage with and learn programming concepts. And that's the goal we've been chasing. When I think of robots, I think of boys and robots, not girls. And yet it seems to me that the bigger problem in technology is inspiring women and girls to be involved at a grassroots level in developing tech. So how do these robots solve that problem? Uh, so I'm a dad of a girl, I have a daughter, and so it's problems personal to me as well. Wheels are one of the things that the moment girls see on, on robots or toys, they think of it as a not a girl's toy. They don't want to play with them. And that's something we found quite by accident when testing with kids. The moment you cover these wheels, it suddenly becomes a girl's toy. So those are some of the things that we found as we tested with kids and experimented. How can we take these robots and make it a girl's toy as much as a boy's toy?